The last method of manipulation before I get to the big three is the denial, hassle, and ridicule factor. So this is threefold. The first one is denial. Again, the ostrich with his head in the sand. Don't look at these things. They're all negative. Why would you bother spending your time analyzing the negativity that's going on? Well, because if you don't understand the problem, you're not going to make an accurate diagnosis. You need to look at the negative so you can make a diagnosis. Dia in Latin means, or in Greek means through, and gnosis means knowledge. A diagnosis happens through knowledge. And if it means looking at the negative, what's the underlying cause of the symptom you're experiencing, you need to do it. You cannot continue to exist in denial that these things are taking place. This is a serious psychological condition known as cognitive dissonance. It's simply seeing with your own eyes the negativity that's going on in the world and yet still saying it isn't that way. No, I deny that it is that way. It, it isn't. Uh, how I see it happening to my, in, before my own eyes, but I still choose to believe that it isn't so. That's cognitive dissonance. That's serious. It's a, a serious psychological condition of denial. <coughs> hassle is the second factor of the DHR factor, denial, hassle, ridicule. I don't want to start speaking out against this stuff because I'm afraid of all the hassle that I'll have to go through by people who don't want to hear this message. It may even be the truth, but I'm not going to bother speaking it because I'll have to go through too much hassle and, uh, and endure too many unpleasantries. Well, that also won't get you any change. That will also keep you controlled. It will keep you uh, actually enslaved. You will not really make any changes for the better in your life and actually work toward true freedom and true uh, uh, peace, prosperity, or order if you stay in the modality of the hassle-free zone. And the third, of course, is ridicule. I don't want to talk about these things because not many people know about them or understand them, so I'll be seen as the guy in the tinfoil hat, the weird guy who you know, uh, talks about strange things that people can't really understand or comprehend and don't know about or want to know about, so I'll just shut my mouth and not say anything. And this is another way that we police ourselves. These methods are how the sheep become the sheep dog and police themselves. Denial, hassle, ridicule. We fall prey to these. We're not really working toward true change. We're not really working toward true freedom.